So you want to put ROMs on your RetroPie, but you don't want to use a USB drive. Easy peasy, boys. Sugar! All right, so super easy tutorial. This is super simple, so you guys are going to get this done nice and quick. The first thing that you're going to have to do here is go to your RetroPie configuration page. And your RetroPie must be connected to your Wi-Fi for this, the same internet connection that your PC is running on. So go down and connect it to your Wi-Fi. If you've already done this, you can skip this step. I've already done this, so I'm just going to show you the gist of this here. So it's already going to be selected, connect your Wi-Fi to the network. Just hit A. And in a few seconds, it's going to load up and it's going to give you a list of internet connections. And all you're going to do is just select yours. So for me, it's the interweb 2.0. And from there, you're just going to type in your password and boom, you'll be connected to the internet. From there, you're going to return back to the main configuration page of the RetroPie and you're going to go to show IP. Now, we may not need this. Uh, you're going to see here that I have my IP address blocked out, but where this little block is, your IP address is going to be in there. So just write that down just in case. Again, you might not need this, but it's better to just kind of have it on hand and not need it than to need it and not have it. So just hit OK here and we're going to go back to the configuration page again. And that's all we're going to need from the RetroPie. So keep your console on, keep it running, keep it connected to the Internet, and we're going to head over to the PC. OK, now that we're here, you're going to see I have one game here, Karate Champ. That's all I'm going to do for this simple tutorial is just throw one game on. So we're going to go ahead and open up the file explorer here. Go to this PC. This is just where I like doing it. And from here, I'm going to type in backslash backslash RetroPie. And you can see I've already had it typed in before. Once you type this in, you're going to see you have your BIOS, your ROMs, everything on your Raspberry Pi is going to be here. So I have my ROMs folder. And you're going to see all the emulators are in here. Genesis, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, N64. So I'm just going to add an NES game here. And that's going to be Karate Champ, which I already added. But uh, I'm just going to delete that here. And one thing that I've noticed, uh, I read online that you can use zip files for this. I've tried it already and a zip file didn't work for me. So I did have to unzip this to get this running. So I'm just going to right click and I'm going to go to extract files. And I don't know if I'll be able to extract it into this kind of drive here. I might just have to do it the uh, old fashioned way. So I'm just going to drag this in actually. I'm going to right click it and I'm just going to do extract here. I think all I need is this main Karate Champ U NES, and I'm going to delete Karate Champ, the uh, zip folder here. So here it is. We have Karate Champ. It's all extracted. It should be on our Raspberry Pi now. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like when I ran it with the RAR file, zip file, whatever you want to call it, and without, just to kind of show you that I did try both. But from here, let's just head back over to our Raspberry Pi. Okay, so now that we're back here, we're going to go ahead and hit the start button. We're going to go to quit and restart emulation station. This is a must or it's just not going to show your games as appearing or disappearing if you're deleting games. So from here, you're going to go and look for Nintendo because that's what I chose. And we're going to look for Karate Champ, which is right here. And we're going to hit A just to prove that it boots up. Just give it a second here while it loads. And look at that, ran just fine. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and restart the game and I'm gonna launch this file again in a zip format just to kind of show you that this won't work unless you extract it. So just give me one second and I'll get that done for you. Okay, so here's me just throwing the straight zip folder in here. I do want to make it known that I did get yelled at on Reddit. They were like, use the official docs, but it also was about Super Nintendo games. So maybe NES is a little different and I'm just misunderstanding, but I'm still going to show you guys here. So let's head back over to the RetroPie. So once again, we are going to go to quit and restart emulation station. We're going to go to Nintendo and you'll see I have Karate Champ here again. I'm just going to hit A. Let it do its thing. So 
So you can see when I start this up with the ROM not extracted, I get this gray screen and nothing happens. The game is just kind of frozen. So uh, that's why I'm telling you, if you're going to do this, go ahead and make sure you extract your ROMs. Um, to get back out of the screen, I'm just going to hit select and start. And this will bring us back to the main menu. But that's it, guys. That's the gist of this. That's how you transfer all your games over. It'll be different if you're going to be adding bios. It'll be different if you're adding probably like main games and stuff like that. But just for a quick and easy tutorial, I'm just going to leave it at this. If you guys want to see more and you want me to add more games onto this and do a more in-depth tutorial, then leave me a comment down below. If there's other subjects you want me to cover as well, go ahead and leave me a comment. And uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Adios.